we will be tuning in to Cairo and Muke here. So we'll get them up and get them ready uh, for this next game. We, we see, we've seen their Axie before. Again, Muke bringing in that triple uh, or that machine gun uh, owl there, that bird. And then Cairo obviously bringing in the triple mystic, the space space force here lunasi and space force and all the astronaut suits excited to see uh who uh, who can get a win question mark who can take the l whichever one uh, but either way whenever yeah we just got them up here it looks like whenever you guys are ready and have each other added we can uh, we can get right into game one let us know i'm ready whenever you are uh um, i was playing the arena on normal mode so i'm going to change it Esports. Oh yeah, no worries. No practicing. Worries. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to lose, bro. I want to win. Guys, this practicing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, hey, I'm Gary, starting to realize that there's a very good chance of seeing Cairo in the finals right now. <laughs> okay, let's go for AXP experience, right, Cairo. <laughs> you guys can uh, spectate where we started. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be careful here. Absolutely can't just nuke right into it and pop yourself. Got to watch when you proc that for sure. Okay, Blade, that's cool. So, um, I think the mirror old. charms are really cool. I think that they need to expand on these, and there's a lot of possibilities for making act like you know how everybody's always wanted like part branching for axes, so you can like have more options of like making an axe evolve with the meta. I mean, I know we're gonna get stuff like that with part evolutions, but. These mirror charms have a lot of potential to really transform, like, I don't know, especially collector axes and something right. that you could actually use on the ladder. But they need to be less potential points. They just cost too much right now. Yeah, I, I, I think there's a nice little, I think the introduction of them is a beautiful thing. Like you said, you can go in and now you can shop through some axes that are maybe one or two parts off throw a mirror on them you can use these collectibles now throw a mirror on those but i'd love to see it fine-tuned to an even maybe maybe instead of just a straight like 70 or 65 damage Yo, what if that chill becomes... out bro oh, absolute nukes can we calm down bro what nukes, is happening bro. to me that's like 7k out of the, the arena yeah so yep, you're running exactly <laughs> exactly is trying to go for pink slips he said you guys can see the power of that feather fan right there just absolutely destroying Cairo's backliner um i don't know how much how many hits that <laughs> thing did but it looked like 45 times like five or six i don't know how many yeah. hits was that did you guys actually catch it it was a lot it like seven be, hits what, feather, fan? mm -hmm. feather fans be seven yeah oh, i can't oh there we go Sheesh! Oh no. Oh, quick move. Oh, no. The stall throw method, like the stall throw method. He's coming through here with a lot of potential damage as well. Again, just the little out that it ramps so well. Uh, if you have the time to that mid to late game, you're just going to literally chew through everything in front of you. Oh my god. This bird. Okay, so Kaido doesn't have like an AoE, I think. So this should be fine. Yeah. No. Well, has a no. leafy at least, yeah, and catfish, so I have to be careful. Ooh, baby oh, Lonia. No. Oh, that spikes the true damage. Oh my god, Cairo. Yeah, but I don't think it's gonna matter. That bird's gonna kill me before I have a chance to win. No, I made that mistake here. I shouldn't have shield. I should have attack. Yeah, but this no, is good for you. Bye bye, take on 8k <laughs> to the run. <laughs> Bro, somebody go look up this bird, this exact bird build, and tell me how much it is on the marketplace. I need to know. Uh, mm. 32 USD, probably. The bad news is that oh I lose a little owl. I lose one little owl. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. This is on what is referred to as a machine gun bird, and now everybody is getting to witness live exactly why it is called this. Uh, and I am smack. currently looking up the price for us right now. About thirteen dollars, everyone. Yes, I, I got this. I got this. So, Cairo, prepare to dance, bro. Prepare I'm to not dance. gonna dance, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Gigi's. I love it. I love it. <sighs> oh, come on. 1-0. 1-0. Hey, 
just this like is when Gila game. changes his comp from or whoever comes through Gila yeah. and Ghostin in the last match, they just switch their comp to an aggro comp just They're to like, like Yeah, now I now never I'm agreed to any of this. Like, now I'm gonna beat him like instead Wait a minute. Yeah, Wait a minute. He just takes all those Ghostin takes all his rocket stamp sandals and just hits Cairo with them instead. Instead of himself. Like he just I insane but shouldn't shouldn't the people that win have to dance, not the people that lose? Because don't you want to lose in this tournament? I'm confused. Super confused, I mean, it, bro. It, no, it, it was it was Gila who mentioned the the grand loser should be able to pick who gets to dance. So, I mean, I I don't hate that idea. It's not not exactly my decision to say, but I certainly <laughs> don't hate the idea. All right, let's get this over with. Come, on. dude, okay, I have ready. no chance. This bird's too strong. I can't kill the bird, so it's like it's already over. Hmm. Always have no, faith. I'm going bro. To, always have it. faith. I'm going to switch. Cheapest I'm going to kill your your front in a plant body. Mm -hmm. By the way, cheapest version of this bird is in a plant body for ten dollars. Ten fifty two is the lowest price. Uh, but there to get a bird version, the the beast is second cheapest. The mech version is third cheapest. But the bird version starts at eighteen dollars. Aqua versions are up there as well. Yeah, aqua version is the best for rare era. But Bird on the Mystic Era is going to be huge. That's why they are expensive right now. For sure, for sure. You know, I think Ant has fun. really become just a super valuable card. And I remember when Ant was so terrible. In V2, yep. nobody used Ant. It was actually like the least used st uh, part statistically, I think. Yeah, uh, that's true. Tech. I couldn't even tell you what that its v2 card value or like what it did to be honest with now that i think about it like i don't know that i can tell you its effect it like pooped on them or something was it a minus attack or something yeah it was like it's only one it was the only card that had that one off like stench maybe with unco or it something was stench. stench might have been what it was called yeah oh that, that was a good play Cairo. you just discard my fear fan so that was very nice i like that mm. Oh no. So... Compliment me more. I like that. Yeah. Build him up before you tear him down. Yeah. Oh, Matsuri! Oh, Matsuri <laughs> power. Oh no, he's yes, still alive. Your mushroom? Yes, the mushroom. What Let's have... go. No, wait! Bye bye, mushroom. Feathers are dumb, bro. Feathers are crazy right now for sure. So I need to think. Mm, so what can I do? More damage. Yeah, more damage here. Always. Uh, and more, and more feathers to oh. the Aqua Mystic. And you have an, an epic accessory, that's cool. First time I see in the arena. Mm. Fun fact, the, you guys know the uh, little flying accessory on my front axie, the ginseng? It is the number one ID ginseng. Ooh. Wow, that's oh, dope, bro. There we go. I also have the number one ID band aid. Damn, what the heck? I am actually did jealous. You, I guess that. you just went and found these, or like did you I, no, I opened or I, I opened one, like I minted one, and then the other one I won from a contest for the Sick. lookbook challenge. Dude, so uh, that I mean, all, awesome, already bro. like how many things? That's like the third major thing that we've heard somebody today already say that they won in a contest, like. Or one like from somewhere in the community, whether it's a summer axie, an accessory, like the the, the opportunity to mm -hmm. just increase your collection in this space is plenty if you pay attention to the right things and like if you're kind of an active community member, whether that means like snooping through the Discord channels, snooping through Twitter, just kind of being around, like dude, there's so mm -hmm. much opportunity for these little giveaways or like these little people whether it's like an engagement giveaway or like it, anything whatever it is like just look a, like spend it if you spent 30 minutes a day probably just scouring through discord you will find something like somebody's either giving something away or there's some twitter for sure that's true and the uh, collective discord channel oof, huge giveaways over there and you don't need to have like a japanese you can only have a summer accent and you're in so you have to be mm -hmm. with open mind there. Okay, yeah. so right now, Kaido wants to do something funny. I have to 
make bro, leave me alone bro <laughs> leave me alone bro okay. oh my god leave me alone bro no first mystic down oh my god and now mm. you just hear him calculating it in his head like oh, target acquired yeah perfectly excellent now this Can game is mine make so... dance? i'm not dance. <laughs> I can teach you the wag me dance, but I'm I don't want to be on video. You can teach me. I'm not doing <laughs> it. I love it. I love it. This could be an love to hear the players going back and forth here live. This machine gun bird, though, putting in so much work. I may have just got one for myself because uh, it looks like fun to play. It is so much. I love it. I have I have the aqua version. I was I not to toot my own horn, but one of the first ones with an aqua version actually for uh, the when the bloodlust comes through. And now it's also great for this bubble shooter rune that's, that we start with off puppy. So, uh, well, you you gracefully lay there and pretty much just accept it at this point because it's a wrap. I don't wanna Bye. win though, I don't wanna lose. <laughs> what is that? I <laughs> <laughs> uh, love it. I love it. So much damage coming out. How crazy out. And again, is that card? Feathers and feathers and feathers. Uh, a plant, What is it good on a plant? It is uh, what in the next, in the epic era, when you have mm -hmm. Miracle Leaf and the Leaf Cloak for like a frontline situation where you're building up all these leaves. And then after a certain amount of leaves, you get bonus damage. So you want that miracle leaf, I believe it is, um, on your triple owl plant, and it does exactly. some serious, serious damage as well. So any any variation of this bird, there is a time for it. Maybe except for okay, like a mech or Cairo. A I hope wow. you're prepared. I hope you have made exercise today because <laughs> you're going to dance the whack me. No, yeah. I'm not going. <laughs> oh Jeez, man, Kyro. easy stomp. 2-0. Cairo straight to the finals, bro. Congratulations on Congrats, Cairo. <laughs> straight to the finals, dude. GG's, I guess. Oh my yeah, we, god, bro. We appreciate you, Muke. Anything to leave us with before you head out? We appreciate you stopping through and making the time for us today and uh, representing here for us. Yeah, so thank you for the invitation. Thank you, community, for being here. It has been a lot of fun. And, and yeah, later we have a Sky Smash tournament, so it will be nice if everyone goes there with Chome Squad Brian. So thank you again, Sweet Feet and OGK. You are very good casters. I appreciate you guys, and see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, bro. All love, oh, bro. You, All you, love.